Hey you! Yes you! Welcome to another Workbench video! I'm a little giggly and very excited because it, this new feature that I just tested and it's so so cool, we're exploring tool calling on our agents. So you've seen how you implement simple agents, you've seen how you can uh, use uh, some data to feed the agents with information and now we are going to equip the agents with the actions with the tools that they want to so they can control the world. So come with me once again and let's explore this very cool new feature. Let's go! This feature allows us to equip the LLM with tools, OutSystems actions and tell the LLM, hey, use them however you want. This is very cool because the LLM is the, is the one deciding what tools do they use in which order and how they use it. This means that we will have to have very well documented tools. So let's go on and let's see how we can do that. Our use case, it's our Amadus car renting application. It's a car renting business that has a lot of vehicles. So we have a lot of vehicles, we need to schedule maintenance and that can be a very cumbersome part for a human to send an email back and forth to get a schedule and so on. So what we are going to build it's an agent that gets information, writes an email and communicates with those car shops so we can schedule the maintenance for our cars. Let's start by creating an agent. You can see how to create in other videos. Uh, it's fairly simple. We just need to give it a name. We have here a very cool image of a, of a mechanic uh, agent. Um, and we're here at the something familiar to you, I hope. Now, we have the car shops in a CSV. This is a list of our contracted car shops where we can leave our cars for maintenance. Uh, they have name, location, the contact, and also, also have the brands that they work with. And we are going to feed this in the grounding level of, the, of our agent, so our agent can select one of those um, car shops. Here you can see a little bit of the example of CSV. We're putting this on a variable and we're going to use it. With our grounding data set, we're going to build the tools for our agent. We need an action to fetch the information from the cars based on the VIN and we also need an action to send emails. Let's start with the VIN. We're going to create here a folder then we're going to create our action and give it a name. We have to pass in an input of a VIN and it's very important that we have a good description with examples. We're going to do the same for the output. It's going to be a JSON. We're going to add here the description and the JSON with an example. Don't forget that it's very important to have well-documented actions so the LLM knows what the tool does. With the description set, we now just need to implement a normal out systems action where we are querying the VIN data, we are filtering by the VIN, and then deserializing the result for the, for the LLM. For the second tool, the send email, we'll need to build a different module that has UI. This way we can send an email there and expose it as a service action for the LLM to use. This email application is already created. We're going to first take care of the UI. We need to import it, the styles for the email and we're just going to use a body and a subject. I have already created the, the service section with all the inputs and the outputs. And don't forget, once again, I, this is never too much to refer. We need to have everything detailed. We will add the email to the service section we will define the inputs and outputs and don't forget that we need to handle the exception and return an error so the LLM can know when something went wrong. Now that we have all the actions that we need, we are going to define the prompt on the agent and use the new core action to add the tools to it. Let's go to the system prompt. And I already have built the prompt here somewhere. Let me copy and paste 
and here we go. So we're detailing that the bot is a mechanic, uh, we're telling which tools it has, we're giving some instructions, send a, an email, different emails for different uh, shops, and this, this will do. To include the tools, we are going to replace this call open AI with the call agent core action. This action does the same, but allow us to define tools. So let's replace all the values and we have here the new console to add in the tools. We defined the AI and here we can add an action. We have this screen and we're going to select our uh, get vehicle details. And you can see that automatically the descriptions that we already had in are in here. So the job is done for us and we have here the input uh, being generated by AI. Let's send in the send email action also. And all the descriptions, have the, they all have the same thing and we are good to go. The final touch after publishing is going to our main application, adding the new agent in a component and adding it to the screen. We are all good to go. Let's test. We have here our car, Amadus car renting. We're going to go to the vehicle screen. I want to check uh, the branch Salem. I'm going to order the cars by mileage to see which, which of them have the most mileage. I'm going to open here my bot and I'll write a request to do the maintenance for the two most mileaged cars. So we're putting only the VIN numbers and we are sending. We'll speed it up a little bit. And we can see that we have a reply of the bot saying that it sent the emails. And if we go here, we can see that we receive indeed two emails for two car shops and they have the details that were all written by the LLM using the tools. I hope this example shows the potential of tool calling in, a, in agents in out systems. This truly gives agency to your agents. They will be able to approve processes, to send to consume APIs, and it, for you to develop, it's going to be way easier. You just need to have your actions, have good documented actions, and then tell the LLM, hey, here are my actions, now do stuff. I think this is very cool. Tools are what differentiate us and the monkeys from the other animals. So get in there, create your tools, create your engines and automate your work. I think this is going to be very fun. Stay tuned for more videos about uh, Agents Workbench and have fun. See other videos, have other videos there and stuff. And let's, let's get tooling. <laughs> <laughs>